Hi, Faith. Thank you for your uh, second tarot reading purchase. I'm really glad that you enjoyed and got a lot out of the, the first uh, Celtic cross reading I did for you. I actually just finished recording your uh, the first operation of your opening of the key and naturally doing a direct upload. YouTube decided that uh, it wasn't going to have it. So it totally ruined my last half an hour of work, which really pisses me off, frankly. Uh, so I, I'm, I clearly can't ever do direct upload again. So I'm going to try to uh, start all over again. I just can't wait. So let's see what we've got here. I already, of course, uh, picked out, uh, the, not picked out, but drew shuffled. Uh, I can't even talk. I'm, I'm kind of angry. <laughs> I already shuffled, I already cut, and um, I, I already talked about the other piles, uh, and I don't remember what they were, but you were your significator is in the earth pile, so this is particularly focused on your material affairs. The cover card was the sun, so you are experiencing overall uh, success in your material affairs, and that's where we start. Now, uh, we're going to start with counting. Uh, oh, no, we're going to start with... That's how I started this. I, I hate when this happens. Uh, more than I can possibly say. Uh, when I first looked at this, I noticed that there is a fair amount of stress you're experiencing in your past surrounding this man that uh, you have possibly been with before that you have, I think, had a breakup with. He seems very logical, not good with money, uh, but very uh, kind of idealistic, uh, a little independent sometimes, which you probably were attracted to, but also just very heady and not quite in reality sometimes. Now, you seem to be having some anxiety over either financial re financial stuff or uh, you seem to be nervous or, or having depression about, uh, well, physical reciprocation. And that I, I say that just because of what else comes up in this reading. Uh, it could be both, <laughs> you know, sometimes our anxieties or our issues uh, translate themselves in, in different in different uh, situations simultaneously, even though they may seem to be totally unrelated. From from there, we get the aeon, uh, and it seems that you are going through a really big life shift based on the cultivation of your of what of your passion, what exactly you're you're really interested in. But this brings about, with it, a, a conflict and a, a problem having to do with this Queen of Swords woman. And uh, again, in this part of the reading, the, it seems to focus on the relationship between this Queen of Swords woman, who's very logical and possibly a little bitter, a little sharp and harsh sometimes, uh, but overall sort of just a, uh, a kind of a know-it-all. <laughs> Uh, and then and her relationship with this King of Cups guy who sort of uh, feels before he thinks before he acts uh, or rather feels then acts and then thinks that's more his prerogative <laughs> but anywho so we have this conflict that we reach with the counting from there it real we realize that the conflict has to do with this guy that we were just talking about who is fairly transient. He seems very preoccupied with pleasure and creating pleasure for himself. He's a little desperate, actually, and trying a little too hard. And it seems that you uh, had some level of success with this man in an emotional way, possibly a romantic way, but that quickly was not uh, brought to the next level. It seems that that was never fully realized and uh, some amount of disappointment has come with that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
then we get the six of pentacles or the six of discs, which tell and it's coupled with lust and you. So uh, your significant is right here. And that tells me that the level of success that you had with this person was probably some sort of you scratch my back, I scratch your back sort of thing. Uh, it seems more carnal and a little more, frankly, a little kind of like a one night stand or something. Uh, and, and more that sort of relationship uh, rather than anything else. Because, and it may be that he told you that he could not emotionally commit to you. But I think that you are preoccupied with getting over this past relationship and so you let it happen. But the problem is that that kind of ticked off Miss Queen of Swords here uh, because she found out about it somehow. Uh, either she sensed it or she's, uh, she's not going to be taken for the fool, <laughs> so to speak. And she is very frustrated with you uh, and frustrated with him as well, I think, because I think that she sees uh, him as having a future with her, or rather that she sees herself as having a future with him. And, you know, her count does go back to him, you know, so it is sort of, I kind of want to say that he's the person who ultimately is to blame for all this. I kind of feel like you didn't really know the full context of the situation. I don't think that you necessarily... Um, hold this woman in contempt. Um, I don't think that you particularly like this person anymore, either. Uh, but I, I also think that you don't, you didn't necessarily intend to hurt her, because uh, and that's just based on the pairing that we, the pairing that we get. It's not to confuse us here. Uh, so to move on, I like to pair several ways, especially for the first operation, because I really want to make sure that the first operation is right. And what I'm going to do is, when I'm done reading this, I'm going to stop this video, and if you could uh, provide feedback for whether or not this uh, opening operation was correct, that would be really helpful, just because, uh, as I uh, well, <laughs> now I'm starting to forget what I said in the first video and what I haven't said again in this video. Uh, it's, uh, this is, the opening of the key is such a convoluted thing with so much information that it's good to sort of do checkpoints as we go through and make sure that each operation makes sense and is plausible. And particularly this one, because this is, of course, the foundation of all our future work with this reading. But to pair from you, uh, again, we get the idea of anxiety over some sort of reciprocation, possibly, uh, particularly a financial reciprocation. And this has led you to think about how you can turn your passion into something more lucrative. Uh, because I do think that you see your passion as a, a resource. Whatever it is that you're really passionate about, you, you see it as, as something to tap into and something that you can uh, be, be successful with financially. Again, we get the Aeon with this Prince of Swords, so this is clearly someone that you're trying to move on from. You're trying to forget this Prince of Swords. You're trying to uh, think about the mistakes that you've made with this person and trying to overcome them. And it seems that one of the big mistakes was that he possibly took advantage of you monetarily. It could also be that he was just very bad with planning and management of money. He just doesn't seem to have been good at it. And that was probably a big issue for your relationship, yes. Because we get the Five of Wands and the Tower following that, which means that your breakup was the result of an argument. <laughs> you did not have a clean breakup with this person at all. It was not good, it was not pretty, and you sort of just want to forget about him and move on because he seems to have not just been a great guy for you. Particularly since being a Capricorn, financial security is very important to you, and ability to be practical with your partner is, is something that you really value. And since he seems to be constantly have had his, uh, since he seems to have constantly had his head in the clouds, uh, and does not seem to be particularly focused on money at all, uh, that clearly is not a good match for you. So, uh, Okay, so we've got the conflict that led to the breakup. Now there's this. Now in comes this Queen of Swords woman again, and she seems to be sort of in in a similar situation as you. 
excuse me, or that's how you first met her, she seems sort of depressed about something, and I'm uh, not sure what, or she, she is just taking a break from something. Maybe that's it, too. You know, it could be possibly that she was taking a break from this guy, and so you thought it would be okay. <laughs> that's another possibility here, too, that she was broadcasting that she was done with this guy, uh, and that she was ready to take on something different and bigger for her future. But at the same time, she still has these really sensitive and, and deep feelings for this guy who seems to be trying way too hard to either satisfy himself or get over her or I don't know. They seem to have a really messed up relationship right now. It seems like they they don't really seem to be on the same page. Because on one hand, she is trying to get over him, and yet not. I mean, she seems totally bipolar about the whole situation. She doesn't seem to know what she wants. And, and I think the same thing is for him. You know, he, on one hand, is trying really hard to enjoy this kind of bachelorhood. But at the, on the other hand, he still uh, feels like he needs to to be with her, I think, you know. He associates her with success and happiness, and and I think they just need to get back together, frankly. I think they would be much happier instead of playing this game and involving you in whatever mishigas they have concocted, because she clearly doesn't seem to know how to express what her real feelings are, and neither really does he. So, uh, so you seem to be totally stuck in the middle here, my friend, and I, I would just tell you to stay out of it for now. <laughs> I think you need to just, and if you haven't done so already, you know, just walk away from it. Uh, it is not anything you want to get yourself involved in. And again, you know, it's funny because we had talked in your Celtic cross reading about there possibly being some sort of affair or some sort of strange, like sexual encounter that you were part of that uh, caused more conflict than good. And it seems that this is uh, what we were talking about without realizing it. It's very interesting. I do think that, you know, part of you was just looking to further your getting over of this, uh, this stupid Prince of Swords guy. Uh, you know, but clearly that has mired you in some stuff. And, and it is very likely that you work with both of these people, which really doesn't make this easy. You know, you probably have to deal with these people on a regular basis, since this is also a work-related thing. So I can see why you're confused about what to do regarding your, um, your, your work situation. It seems very convoluted uh, at the moment. So I... I think that's sort of where we, we end here. Uh, I think you're just sort of confused as to what you feel for this guy, if this is something that you want to pursue or not, uh, and how to navigate this, this woman right now who seems to be on your case. Uh, the, the, the overarching advice that I can give you from this is sort of what I just said, stay out of it. I, I think that this is just a messy situation for you, but this seems to be the overall setup for the foundation of this reading, and, you know, the next operation will sort of say what will happen if this all continues the way it's going at, at the moment. So, what I, what I, again, what I'd ask is that you uh, take a few minutes just to, to watch this and tell me how uh, accurate this was. If, uh, if it was totally bogus, uh, if it made no sense, if it made some sense, you know, please be sure to tell me uh, just what made sense and what, what didn't, uh, just because that'll help us, us both really clarify and understand the, the next few operations. So we've got to make sure this one is right first, because I am not uh, a fully psychic reader. I just, uh, I just read what I see. 
So, uh, and that it, that is all based on this first operation. So, uh, be sure to do that for me, and I will probably be able to get the re uh, or or continue working on this. Probably not today, but I can. I, I'm pretty sure I can do some some work on it tomorrow and Wednesday as well. And I, I think we're going to keep doing this, uh, checking in with you after each operation so that you can sort of digest it. And if you have any questions about that operation or anything, you can you can contact me. Okay? So uh, I'll stop it here for now. Uh, get back to me. Let me know what you think. And uh, I, I hope it's to your liking. So thanks again, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you again. Bye-bye.